Hello Himo fans and welcome to this new video. So today I am going to share with you a video that a ton of you asked me during this year, which is a video about solo training. You keep asking me about solo training, solo exercise, and uh, here I am with a new video. So I decided to create some kind of series. I will deliver to you a video every season, which will be about physical conditioning, just a little bit. So let's say warm up in a sense and technical stuff. We will go into real technical training. So lesser fancy stuff that you can add by yourself watching my solo training video, but we will work on the very basics that help you become a better fencer. So you will be able to use this video either if you are at home and you don't have access to any kind of club or if you have just a couple of training session, sessions with your club, you consider them not enough and you want to integrate them by yourself. Let's start. So first of all, you need just two simple tools for this training routine. Your sword, of course, and an elastic band. Ideally, you should have more than one elastic band with different degrees of resistance and I would encourage you to buy them as they tend to be really useful for many different exercises. This workout is meant for winter times, which on my side of the globe, at least, tend to be cold, so it can be practiced inside if you have around 4 to 5 meters of linear space somewhere at home. Okay, so first of all, warm up the joints of your upper body with some simple exercises, like rotating your arms forward and backward, shrug your shoulders, just to be ready to move. Do every movement for 20 to 30 seconds, which is more than enough. The first exercise is composed by four sets of push-ups. Based on your physical strength, you should try to do between 5 to 20 push-ups per set with one minute of rest between sets. The best way to know how much of them you are able to do is, of course, to try out. If you aren't able to do five push-ups in a row, I would suggest to watch the beginner's push-up video made by Icy Mike, which I will link down in the description. The second exercise are pull-aparts with the elastic band. This exercise is really useful to relieve shoulder pain and compensate the tendency of Hemafencer's shoulders to move forward. Do 3 to 4 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions each, depending from your strength and your elastic band, of course. Think about pinching your shoulders blades together at every repetition. By the way, talking about form, it is full of video about form, correct executions, variations of push-ups, uh, exercises with the elastic bands, etc. So check them out if you have any doubt. Now we finally pick up our sword. This workout is all about thrusting and coordination. So let's start by simply thrusting forward with our weapon, trying to reach our maximum extension while doing so. Straighten your arms and point toward the head, the neck or the upper chest of an imaginary opponent as tall as you. Repeat this movement for 20 to 30 times, dividing it in sets if necessary. Ok, let's add some footwork now. Extend your arms at maximum extension and then step forward. Try to make it happen in a fluid motion while not being obsessed by speed at first. Try to always follow the sequence, weapon first, foot after, as the main goal of this exercise. Once you have landed the action, retreat your hands on guard, brave, while stepping backward. Don't drop your arms after the thrust or during the retreat. Always keep them high, aware and in front of you. Again, execute these 20 to 30 times. Let's add a step now, to make things harder in terms of coordination. Do a simple step forward then thrust and step forward as before. Retreat your weapon while stepping backward, then step backward again to the starting position. Again, don't drop your arms at any stage of the exercise. Keep the weapon always pointed toward the opponent. Again, 20 to 30 repetitions. Let's now make things a bit harder and so more useful. So put your elastic bands at knee height. To keep it in place, put one strip above and one below your knee. Don't exaggerate with the resistance level of the band. Now a little, let's call it warm up. Step forward two times and backward again two times. Do it for 20 repetitions. Very good. Now that your legs are warmed up and ready, do both the exercises with footwork that we have seen above while adding the resistance band. 
pay attention to your coordination as the additional resistance may vary the time of execution of your steps. Remember that you can do these exercises with both the right and the left foot forward. You can divide the repetition in two or dedicate a single day to a single stance. The choice is up to you. So, as you already noticed, this training session was more focused on thrusting and on footwork and especially on getting the correct sequence of motion while landing the thrust, but at the same time try to work out a little bit our legs and of course a little bit our upper body. That said, the next training session will be more about cutting and a little bit more on complex sequence of motions. I will try to not put too much stuff into every single session because it is better to train just a few actions and get better at one thing uh, compared to train a ton of different things that you maybe find enjoyable at first but you will uh, not end up having anything uh, of it. So this training session is not meant to be only enjoyable but it should be enjoyable and useful at the same time. So how much times you should do this kind of workout every week? So it depends from your training week. My advice for you is that if you already train in a club you should use and you want to use this training as a complementary training to your normal training you should do it once a week if you instead do not have access to any kind of club i would advise you to do it two or three times per week and then add at the end of this training session some kind of solo drill that you can find on my channel or on, or on uh, another channel on youtube that said Thanks for watching people, remember that if you want to support me and the channel you can join my Patreon uh, page, link in the description, my Patreon community, and also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the training, let me know, and uh, let me know especially if you want more of this. So, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, see you next time.